hi everyone today I have a quick little tutorial for you and it's all about how to get the perfect red lip which I'm sure you probably already knew because you read the title of this video before you clicked on it but anyways I have a few quick tips and tricks for you to getting the perfect red lip I've been loving wearing red lately I have been getting an extreme amount of compliments 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 on my lips at work in this color so I was like you know what I'm gonna make a video because literally I tell like two to three people every day what I'm wearing on my lips and I hardly ever get that with any other color lipstick or anything so I was like hey maybe I got this going for me so I've been wearing red lips a lot so I'm gonna share some of my tips and my favorite products with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video so I'm going to start by taking a lip liner and I am using this NARS Jungle Red Lip Liner and I believe this is the only red lip liner they have. I feel like any lip liner will really work. You don't have to spend a lot on a lip liner but it's really going to keep everything in place and just kind of prevent your lipstick from transferring into the little creases around your mouth which I absolutely hate. And this one isn't retractable so you do have to sharpen it but it does work well. So I always start in the center and then I work out and then around my lips I go from the outer corner to the center and then from the other outer corner to the center and meet them in the middle. So I'm going to do that and you can just watch me I guess. So now I look like a crazy person and it does take a lot of practice. When I first started I was absolutely horrible and as you can see some of it went into my lip there and here but it doesn't matter as long as around the edges are perfectly straight. Now this is optional. If you want you can fill in your entire lip. The lipstick I use works really really well so I don't have to do that but say you wanted to do a red lip and you really like this red color you could color in your whole lip with your lip liner and then apply maybe a lip gloss or something like that and there's so many different variations or in case your lipstick wears off during the day you'll have your lip liner still on so even though I don't need to I'm still going to fill it in just so you could kind of see how I do it now Around the edges I do the darkest and then I kind of gradually get a little lighter. I use the side of it and kind of rub like sideways if that makes sense. So I start in the outer and work inward. That way you can leave this center part right here a little bit lighter so it kind of highlights your lips. Okay, now what I do is I just take my finger and blend it all together. And if you have a really good lipstick, you don't need to do all of this. And it'll save you time, it'll save you lip liner. If you want the perfect red lip, go pick up this lipstick. I did a review about this whole line of lipstick and it is my absolute favorite. And this is the Rimmel London Kate lipstick, which is the Kate Spade line. Um, they come in black tubes and red tube. This particular lipstick that I've been wearing every single day is in the black tube and it is the number 10. The best part is it's only like three something four dollars if you buy it at Walmart it's the absolute cheapest you could buy it and it's amazing simply amazing this lipstick the whole line in general is probably bleh, probably my favorite favorite lipstick line they are eight hour lipsticks but what's really really cool about them one is the price two is that it doesn't get that drying effect. You almost forget that you have lipstick on your lips. And here's the thing, it does transfer. If you put it on, you could, you know, if you drink out of a cup or something or touch your hand, it's going to transfer. And the longer you wear it, say four or five hours into it, you'll kind of forget. You won't feel like you have anything. Not as much lipstick is gonna transfer and it's still gonna look completely amazing. And it does not, does not get into the fine lines around your mouth, which I absolutely hate. Anyways, it's this really pretty red color and like I said, you really don't need to fill all this in so normally I don't but I wanted to show you how I do in case you have a different red lipstick that you want to, you know, try it out with. 
and I'm just going to apply it. And there you go, it is that simple. So say you do mess up, say you go a little bit outside of the lines. With this stuff, I actually find I could just take my finger and just kind of wipe, and it'll wipe off whatever perfectly without smudging it. Some lipsticks I can't say the same about, so what I would recommend is getting some kind of concealer. You don't want the liquid ones, you want one like this. I don't know what kind of consistency you would call this. But it's, it's a wet concealer, it's not a dry concealer, but it's in like a little tube. This one's from Milani, and what you would do is take a little lip brush like this, or a tiny, tiny concealer brush, you would dip it in here, and then just line your mouth wherever you messed up. And it fixes it like perfect. This is my lip. Let me know what your favorite red lipstick is. Let me know if you tried out this Rimmel line because I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.